right, so since last time, what we did is we got the frame completely rolling. I originally was gonna put a 40 Ford rear end in, um, but I kind of decided to save that for another car because this Model A rear that I was using is in really good shape. And honestly, I think it'll take the horsepower of the little flathead, like it shouldn't really be a big deal. So we decided to use the Model A rear, but what I did do is I swapped out a Model T spring. So with the little mini kick up I did, and the Model T spring is the same shape as the Model A, but it's just flatter. So I should have lowered the car about four to five inches with the kick up and the spring. On um, the front end, I put that all together. That consists of a dropped uh, early Ford 33, 34 Ford axle. Um, I have 34 Ford wishbones. So I used tie rods to, uh, to make the ends of the wishbones um, like they would have back in the day. Um, it has 1946 Ford front brakes, 37 Ford spindles, dropped axle front ends are my favorite. They just are so cool. I remember building the big 32 model when I was a little kid and you could steer it in the turns, but it had that dropped axle. I love dropped axles. A lot of guys building a similar style car would have left it sitting way high up in the air. And I'm just not about that. I, I think it's so cool when guys do that. I see it and I, I like it. But when I'm actually doing it, I, I always want it to be lower. So we still have a million things to do. We've got to do the brakes. We got to figure out the brake pedals. We got to do steering, exhaust, wiring, a million things, radiator, all kinds of things to make a car. But right now, we have a car and it looks like something. So it, it went from being its you know, high stance, original kind of jalopy to now it's a real hot rod. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. it. It sits good. It's gonna sit better once we have the, the real wheels and tires on. I think it needs to get chopped a little more, but we'll do that last. Um, but things are starting to fall in place. It's like building a hot rod is exactly like putting together a puzzle. You find the big stuff and you take care of the big stuff, the edges, the, the main outlook, and then you fill in the space. So now we have kind of all the big stuff in place and now we have to fill in the blanks. And uh, I think we're gonna have a neat little car. Hey look, it's Bobby Joe. What are you doing? I am painting cars today. You're painting cars today? That's cool. And with model paint, they're really cool. I'm going to show you one. <laughs> Whoa. One that's already so painted. you take your, your model paint and you paint the little cars. Mm -hmm. So here is a car. I'm painting, but now I'm pretty much done, but I still have to let it dry. So for me, Bobby Joe painting his cars and customizing them is the essence of everything I'm talking about, about this hot rod. It's perfect. It really is. What do you think about this hot rod we're building? Uh, pretty good. What's your favorite part about it? The skull. The skull is really cool, and I and I wonder what it's gonna sound like when it's done. But I really like the skull, and the grill is looking pretty good. Do you think so? Mm-hmm. Cool. Guys, <laughs> do